Anyways, so just got back from Costco and here's what I got. So I said that I was going for broccoli. I got broccoli. This one is best if used by August 3rd. There are other ones that were used by August, July 29. And I was like, oh no, that's in five days. I don't know if I'm gonna eat all of that broccoli right away. And then I also got French beans because I have a shallot and some, I have a lemon too, and some dill. So I could do some pickled beans and these are best by August 5. So super fantastic. I don't think, yeah, these aren't steam in bag, but ooh, they have a thing for Szechuan French beans on like a, a recipe on the back. So that's cool. Sesame oil, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, red wine, probably do red wine vinegar, uh, sugar, olive oil, onion, ginger, garlic, scallions, and red pepper flakes. That sounds yummy, I might look at that. Cause there's a lot here, so I could do some as like a quick pickle and some as Szechuan beans, that could be fun. And then, so that's pretty much like the edible things and then I went through the beauty, oh no, there's one more edible thing. Oof. I got these so that I stop eating the Rolos in the garage but I'm gonna put these in the garage fridge anyway so that they are out of sight and out of mind unless I'm desperate. So, yeah. Dark chocolate, no more Rolos, living that dark chocolate life. And then I went through the beauty section. I got some teeth whitener. I haven't done these for a while and I figured, why not? Totally fine. There's two in here. There's the glamorous white and that's 14 treatments so two weeks I can't remember how long the glamorous oh the glam white stays on for 30 minutes across two weeks and the one hour express removes years of stains in just one hour and so that's four treatments and it's one hour, although I think it's like four treatments that you use throughout the year. I don't think it's four treatments across four days. Whereas the Glamorous White is, I think you do it all in a row. So, okay. Well, I got those and now I have them, yay. I also got these When Special Package Face Masks. Uh, I was using face masks a lot a couple weeks ago and I actually really enjoyed it. It was kind of a nice Sunday ritual thing. And so this has two packs of five masks each. And in each pack, there's a 10 p.m. mask that's anti-aging, a glamour base that is firming, a travel mate that's refreshing, snow magic, which is radiance, and the last choice, which is extra hydrating. And so they're all sheet masks that you take out and you put on for 30 minutes. So, fun. Yeah, those will be fun. I also, we got tooth, I got toothpaste. We're running out in the master bath. So I just, I picked some up. Light Colgate, uh, mostly. Well, since Crest took away the whitening expressions flavor that I loved and used for years, I don't buy Crest anymore because I, I angry quit them and I'm bitter about it. And then lastly, I got the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides because I've been using, I have a small one. Oh, it's so baby. Oh my goodness. I got this one. It's so tiny. <laughs> I got this one at like Fred Meyer, I think. I can't remember where. But I've just been mixing it into my yogurt and brownie in the morning and it's actually been really great and it has more grams of collagen peptides than the collagen sort of vitamin capsules I was taking and I haven't noticed any kind of flavor or texture difference in my yogurt and brownie in the morning so it just felt like a 
like a good idea to just continue with that. And so I'm, I'm really happy with it. And so I just use one scoop. A serving is two scoops. And so I just use one scoop in the morning and it, you know, gives nine grams of protein and 10 grams of collagen peptides from cows. Bovine. That's all the stuff that's not clothing. And so I also got some clothing things and I'm gonna see if I can do maybe a try on video of the things I got from the clothing section. Okay, here's this. It's um, a baseball tee. It says all the good things. There were three baseball tees at Costco. So of course I grabbed them all. Here's the second one. It says soul. I find that I don't really care as much about what they say as I do about just having baseball tees that weren't made for a CrossFit gym. <laughs> Not that those are bad. Those are great, but I'm excited to have something that's nice for casual wear. I can wear out of the house, which I can wear those other ones out of the house. They just, they're in a different drawer, so I don't look at them as much. But it's a classic um, baseball tee style. It goes up in the middle and then classic back. And here's this one. Obviously not wearing the right bra for it. That's fine. And again, I don't mind as much what they say. This obviously doesn't apply to me for the coffee part, but I got it for the sleepy morning dog walk part because I just can't wait to wear it in the morning when I'm walking the dogs. It'll just, it'll be so meta. I can't, I can't wait. Uh, so these, um, these were 11, 11 .99 each by I think a brand called Chaser. So hopefully, hopefully you like them. I do. I also got these Fila joggers. They were $12.99. Just put this in my pocket. My little Fila jogger pocket. Um, they're a kind of heavy fleecy material. Uh, they have a drawstring and a ribbed waistband. I find I wish there were a little more fabric in the butt. However, I do feel like these are really comfy. They are um, soft, nice and soft on the inside, fleeced on the inside. Um, I think when I wear these, they're gonna stretch out a bit. Like, they just, they, they need to do a, a little bit of stretching they're a bit tight on my calves. They're not super tight on my thighs or, or quads, but I do actually kind of like them. Um, they're, there's a lot of fabric here, so they're, they're loose here. But I like them because I feel like when I look at guys in joggers, I'm like, oh, those guys look really good in joggers. It's because they're like tight around their legs, around their lower legs. Um, and like a little bit tight and fitted through through the thighs. So I feel like I really like how these look because they have more of that men's cut on me that I look at other people and think it looks really cute. Um, and so that does mean for me, like there's no bunching of fabric down at the ankle because my giant calves are just keeping them upright and they're just like holding them up. So nothing's sliding down, which is super cool. And then there's the same ribbed fabric at the waist is on the ankle uh, for that ankle cuff. So $12.99, Costco, get it. The tag tucked in. Okay, so these are $12.99 black legging from Max and Mia. And I don't know if I'm going to keep them. They are very stretchy, but at the same time, I feel like 
I feel like the waist fits really well. It's There's a seam at the top and it's double fabric on the waistband. Um, my belly button is here, so it's high-waisted. But I feel like, I feel like there's, I feel like it, it stretches too much on, like I stretch them too much. And I don't, I don't think that the extra large would work in the waistband because the waistband, the waist feels pretty good. Um, but I just, I feel like I look down at these and they look really shiny to me because like I, like they're stretched and I feel like they're probably just a, a little bit see-through and they took a, a bit of work to get on. Like they, they take a bit of work to get on. I wish there were more fabric in the butt because I like, I, I ended up having to uh, just like do a lot of fighting to like move fabric up my legs so it can go around my butt. So I'm on, I'm on the fence about these. I don't know. Are they the worst? No. Are they good for $12.99? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, this sweater was $14.99. It's a V-neck tunic sweater by Hilary Radley. Now this is another thing that I don't know if I'm going to keep either. And I feel like it falls really weird here in the midsection. Um, I like the color and I, I like the v-neck. I, it feels comfortable, but it feels like right here, right where this comes in, it, it feels like it gets smaller. So right where you'd want it to maybe have a little more room, um, at the end, it feels like it bunches in and then balloons the fabric up so that I feel like I look very paunchy here. Like I just, ugh here. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to end up keeping this, but if you have like thinner thighs than I do, maybe thinner <laughs> lower hips, um, a smaller butt, this may work really well. I thought it would be really nice kind of going into the end of summer, early fall. It's not a super heavyweight sweater, so it would work as a nice transition piece. I thought. This Orvis flannel shirt was $12.99 and I obviously got it in a size large. I got everything in a size large. Um, I saw how they did these sizes and I thought it was so clever. Um, but there are a couple different plaids that they had. Um, I really like Orvis as a brand and I, I was surprised that this fits so well. It's really soft. Mm. And it, it's a high low, so it goes a little bit lower in the back. It does have kind of a little, not a slit, but it does come up a little higher on the sides. And let's see, on the tag, it says that it's a flannel shirt and it's stretchy, ultra soft flannel and high low shirt tail hem. So I really like it. Um, it, it fits my, so my upper arms tend to be the things that give me the most problems in button down shirts. They're just giant floppy wet noodles. Uh, but I find that I don't, I don't feel constricted. I can certainly feel that there's fabric there and you can tell that it's tighter up here than it is on my lower arm, but uh, it's still comfortable and I will definitely wear this. It's most likely that I will unbutton this and probably roll it up so that the difference between this tightness and this looseness isn't quite so apparent. Um, just sort of camouflage that a little bit. And the last thing is this Ella Moss eyelet top. It was $14.99 and I think I'm going to return it. The, the tag is still on it, but it just, it feels a little big and boxy on me. So I'm not sure if maybe I got the wrong size. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I loved the eyelet detail at the top and I actually really liked the flutter sleeves. So I'm a bit bummed that the rest of the shirt um, didn't quite work, but I feel like it just has a structure and mind of its own that doesn't quite flow with my body in the way that I would like it to. So it definitely, it feels like it pokes out right here. And then, uh, and then it feels like at the bottom, 
it's um it's not quite as straight like it kind of cinches in not in a way that's noticeable I think when I'm wearing it but just if I pull it down I can I can almost feel it um it is double lined so that's really nice and the fabric is super lightweight and so I, I really want to like it I might try picking it up in a medium and see if that is any better but I I was bummed that this size at least didn't work out because I thought it was just a really cute top. And that's what I got at Costco. I know this video was a little bit different because it was like a kitchen haul and then a try on thing. I uh, set up the living room as like this little studio. I don't know if it's any good because I haven't actually watched the footage at all. So, We'll see. And that's what I got at Costco. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a bit of a different video, nothing active wear. I guess there are the, the Fila joggers, but I hope you enjoyed the slipper try on. Um, I know, well, it's a bit of a different setup and the uh, the dogs are confused because this is not how the living room normally looks. So they're concerned about all of the different structures and <laughs> pieces that are here now. But if you enjoyed this, if you liked it or found it useful, feel free to like it or subscribe or don't. You do you boo boo. Bye.